Hey, what is going on viewers? Zesty Lime Studios here and welcome back to another drinks review. Today we're viewing one of these KA drinks and this one is going to be on the sparkling fruit punch drink. So I got this out of a random corner shop and I can't remember the price because it is non... Actually, no, I got this one out of... No, I got this one out of a supermarket, actually. That's why it's not price marked. I think because the supermarkets like Tesco and stuff, they do stock the KA drinks. So yeah, this one, yeah, it was actually out of Tesco. Anyways, so let's give you guys a 4360 of the can. So, obviously most of the can is black. And then obviously we have some red theme around the can to represent obviously fruit punch, which is obviously a mix of... Uh, obviously a mix of fruits to make a fruit punch makes sense so yeah so uh, around the top we've got some leaves and stuff some flowers obviously to represent kind of like the caribbean and stuff you've got a palm tree in the background there again to represent like parts of the caribbean and stuff like that really cool packaging i've always liked ka uh, kind of drinks and ka is style and ka is one of those drinks that's been around for a long long time and they're still going so i mean they are owned by bar um if you didn't know so they've got obviously Mac the massive backing of bar behind them so but yeah, K has been around for a long, long time, as far as I can remember. So fair play to him for still going. But um, yeah, so there we go. Just some ingredients and stuff on the black, uh, on the back again with the black background white writing, and again some of the font in red as well. On the bottom we've got nothing, and then the top is all finished off on a uh, standard shiny silver. So, anyways, let's take a closer look at the can. So it's got a taste of the Caribbean font at the top, and again the sparkling and stuff. In the nice font as well so it does look really really cool looking at the back of the can so it just says sparkling mixed fruit flavor soft drink with sugar and sweeteners so the this is half sugar i believe so it's got 4.5 grams of sugar per 100 ml so it's, so it is about the half sugar the sweeteners are azula flame k and sewer close so no aspartame which is good. Obviously, back in the day, they used to be obviously full sugar, but obviously the sugar tax came in and bar reduced the sugar. So obviously they're now half sugar as well to um, avoid that sugar levy tax. Anyways, so apart from that, yeah, not much else of interest on the can. So anyways, it's nice and cold. I've got my Zesty Lime Studios cup. So nevertheless, let's open it and hopefully it won't explode over me. So I say it's been a long, long time, in fact, since I have reviewed or even drank a KA drink, but I thought, you know what, let's review a few KA drinks. It's been many, many years. They obviously updated their packaging and freshened everything up. So I thought, yeah, that's why not, and try some of the KA cans again, because they always were nice and fruity. So anyways, I'm guessing the colour is going to be a sort of reddish colour to obviously represent fruit punch. Right, don't explode over me. Don't explode. This is, ow, this is pretty pressurised. Okay, we're, we're safe. That, that sounded really loud, that may be scared there, but we're okay. Pretty tough pouring though, made a indent in my finger. Ouch. Right, so let's see. And the colour is? Hey, surprise, surprise, it's red. There we go, put that, ooh. Really, really foamy actually, really, really foamy. There we go, put that down for a second, put the can over there so it's safe. Right, so the colour of the drink is red as you can see, so I was correct on that. The drink is non-see-through as you cannot see my face through the drink, although it's not 100% non-see-through, I mean it is looking at the camera, but you know, it's not, you can kind of just see the outline and stuff behind the light and all like that, but yeah, in reality, it is pretty much just non-see-through. Anyways, let's give it a closer smell and see what it smells of. Ooh. Yeah, it just smells of... Now, I know this will sound stupid, but it does smell of just generic fruit punch. And if you've ever had fruit punch, and this is obviously a kind of... kind of an experience side to a review here but obviously if you've never had fruit punch then you won't know obviously what's what but fruit punch can come in many forms you know alcohol and just generic fruit punch and stuff like that if you've had fruit punch then you'll know exactly what i'm talking about so all i can say is try some fruit punch or whatever version and you'll know what i mean but it literally smells of generic fruit punch which is nice by the way it's just got a nice sweet mixed 
fruit sweet smell because with fruit punch again it's a mix of stuff and you can't you know specifically pinpoint down you know a specific smell or flavor most of the time but anyways that's what it smells of nevertheless guys let's taste some Hmm. My initial reaction to that is, yeah, it seems pretty nice. Hmm. Yeah, that is nice. Hmm. So, I think. Mm, yeah, that is actually really quite nice. So I think having the half sugar, I think with this particular drink does work because I think a lot of the time, and I've said this in the past many times, but I find that half sugar drinks generally don't work because what they've done is they've taken a full sugar drink and they've literally just chopped sugar in half and then just continued on with the blend, which has ruined many, many drinks as we all know. And many drinks won't be the same because of that. So my opinion is that a drink should either be normally either full sugar or completely sugar free and you know most of the time the sugar freeze you know do taste absolutely superb and brilliant there's some absolutely insane flavors out there now that are sugar free as we all know but you know for this specific review i think the bang slap sugar in the, sh uh, in the middle here actually works quite well because it's got a you know it's got a, a good amount of sweetness to the drink you know it's not over the top because i think if it was the original 10 grams of sugar then i think it would just be even more syrupy and just more kind of a bit over the top which i think would just be a bit too much this is just a perfect blend for what it is obviously it would be nice to see ka go sugar free because then if they were sugar free i'd certainly consider picking them up and we'll buy them a lot more if they were sugar free because they do some really nice flavors as as, as i said with this one so but you know that's just up to them at the end of the day the ka have only got you know a small range but it's, it's always just kind of there on the shelf in the background so yeah it does taste really really nice ultimately and again i know it probably sounds silly but ultimately yes it is just a literally fruit punch taste and like i said it is sometimes quite hard to actually pinpoint pacific fruits or pacific flavors in a fruit punch because it literally is the name of the drink it's a fruit punch which is a fruit mix so i think if anything though it's definitely maybe it feels like it's got watermelon in it maybe a bit of strawberry something like that certainly along those lines and maybe along kind of the more redder style fruits and again i might not just be saying that because the color's red and the can's red but it does certainly feel more along that kind of watermelon strawberry style lines but in reality we literally don't know what actual fruits in the drink and i said at the end of the day and i keep saying it fruit punch is a mix of fruit punch so just expect it to taste of fruit punch so just you know obviously bear that in mind and ultimately if you strip away the packaging of this and everything like that you won't really know it's supposed to be this you know taste of the caribbean ka style drink you know if you let's say for example i opened i don't know 100 cans of this ka or buy the big two liter bottles that you can sometimes buy Get a bunch of that, chuck it in a massive, you know, big, not a cylinder, you know, a big, a big fruit punch bowl, you know, put tons of ice cubes in it, and that literally is a fruit punch. So, and no, no one would even, you know, bat an eyelid and think, okay, this is, you know, cans of KA that have been emptied into a massive bowl to make it a big fruit punch. So, just bear that in mind. But ultimately, yes, the drink is really, really nice. There's no chemical tastes, no artificial tastes or anything like that as well, which is always a bonus. I say it's just got a real nice fruity vibe to it. So definitely worth picking up a can to try because it always just I said there on the shelf. It's definitely worth just trying once, you know, just to think, oh yeah, it's nice. I've tried a bit of KA. You maybe pick up, there's a couple other flavors as well. I think there's a mango and a, I think a black grape and something else as well, which I think I did, did buy a couple of the other cans as well. But yeah, so it's fine for what it is, but the sugar is just, you know, I'm always anti-sugar from the videos, but it's just, you're not going to drink it on a daily basis because it's just, it is just too much sugar. But as a treat, so it's definitely worth picking up just to try once, you know, why not? But anyways, the question is, how many zesties shall I give this out of 10? Well, I, I, I don't know. I think I'm going to give it a, I think I'm going to give it a, I think 8.8 point, 8 point, I don't know. I was going to give it maybe 8.5, but in reality, I think a good 8. 
Because I think, yeah, it's nice of what it is, but really, would I be happy to drink can of can after this? Well, I don't know if I was drink can after can of it, but it's nice and fruity, and I, you know, will happily finish the rest of this off camera. But um, yeah, I think probably, probably eight. Because the end of the day, it does it does taste nice, regardless of sugar and regardless of everything else. It does taste nice. But anyway, viewers, as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all later.